Hey everybody and welcome back for another episode of Scribblenauts Unlimited. This is episode 3 and you are now surveying the carnage of episodes past. It's a pretty wild world out here so we're gonna head on in to whatever building this is that I can't actually really tell so let's just go in. Oh that is not a building that is well it's a way up so I guess if I didn't have a jetpack which I don't know how I could not have something considering I can make anything I want uh, then I guess that would be another way to get up there. I guess they're just trying to be nice. So let's go to the Virgule Gallery. And see what kind of trouble we can get into this time. Uh, let's see who we need to talk to. I'm going to guess she has a mission for us. Of course she does. Which one of these artifacts is a fraud? Help me figure out which. Uh, one of these is an ar Yeah, okay. Um, let's see. How do we figure out which is a fraud? Can we get the guy from uh, Pawn Stars in? I don't even know his name. Um... We would want some sort of an authenticator. Is that even a... Is that a title? Authenticator? Automatic door. Same thing. Animator. A better. Accentor. Afrovent... Yeah, that. I want this. Oh, no. It's a raptor or something. Um, how do we get this? We need some sort of a museum curator. Somebody with... Oh, geez, I can't do that either. Miserly. There's so many interesting words here that would just have absolutely no gameplay applications at all. Just a curator straight by itself? Yeah, this guy knows what's up, right? He looks at objects every day, doesn't he? Artifact expert? No, nothing here works. Okay, uh, can we get the owl from Animal Crossing? Maybe he's good at this stuff. Um, like, not thinking of the word that I actually really need to use here. Uh, it's probably really obvious, too. Mm, how about a historian? I, I was thinking for something a little bit more articulate sounding, but... Maybe that person knows what's up. Okay, the historian apparently knows. Yeah, that was a piece of garbage. Throw that out the door. And now, you can also go in the garbage. Yeah, I don't know why that historian just went in the garbage either, but that's how it goes. Alright, what do you have to say? I need something to connect three, uh, these bones together. Well, how do we usually connect bones together? How about some... Ligaments! Oh, that's beautiful. Just to uh, make use of those. Maybe you need more. Here you go. Yeah, just tie them up. Alright, how about... Tendons. Ten tandor. Tendril. How about a tendril? It does not help us at all. How about... Mm, well, I can't think of anything else funny, so glue it is! Okay. Yeah, that's exactly how I just made that. Let's put a sprout on your head. No, you don't want that. Can I throw you in the garbage? No, apparently not. Are you solved? You just hold on to that. That sinew there. I don't really want it back. See, this this penguin's kind of cool. He, he gets my style. I feel like we're in that Adventure Time episode right now. Where they meet the nice bear and the bear tries to steal Finn's everything. Because this kid, I mean, he really kind of looks a little like Finn. Granted, I think uh, Maxwell came out before Finn. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. But I'm sure Maxwell and Finn would get along very well had they, you know, had an ad adventure together. Help me get past the guard and security camera so I can take back my diamond. Well, why does that guy have your diamond, man? What are you doing with a diamond? You're a penguin. What are you even holding? What is that object in your hand? It's really weird. Is that, like, a baking tray? Is that a pocketbook? What are you doing there, penguin? Alright, how do we get past a guard? How about we make... Uh, let's make this guy... I could steal something from him. That's probably not a good idea. Actually, you know what we should do before we get into that? We should actually probably just pet him. Yeah, see? We want to make friends. And make sure everything's on the up and up. Let's uh, give him... Stealth. That is not an option, is it? How about we make him steamy? Yeah, steamy penguin. That's gotta help, right? I feel like we just did a lot of good stuff there. Alright, well, what else can we do? We can make the security guard go somewhere else. Um, we can... 
Actually, this is kind of horrible, but this is this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make her blind. Oh, okay, that's a reasonable way to do it, I suppose. Uh, apparently, that's not good enough, though. Penguin does not feel. Oh, and the security camera, right? I forgot about that. I would usually spray like that plumber putty, the plumber caulk stuff on it. I, uh, I don't know how to spell caulk. I guess that's how you spell caulk. There we go. Nobody can see out of there. Oh, he wants it apparently. Yeah, just yeah, stick that to it. How about a steel plate? We'll just caulk that right on there. No, apparently the camera can see just fine. Oh, steel. Uh, I didn't mean that kind of plate. Like a you know big thick sheet of steel. Uh, spray paint. That's another way people do it, I guess. Let's just head on right up here. Paint that. Oh, yeah. Oh, that penguin moves in like it's nothing. That's an arctic heist. Steamy penguin, man. Alright, what else do we have? Let's talk to these guys. Girl in the painting looks so lonely. Well, let's give her... I don't know, a horse. Yeah. Still life solitude. That horse kind of looks like it belongs there, to be honest. I can now play as Artie. Well, that's kind of lame. That's just not a very good name at all. Uh, finish my exhibit. That's a wax Columbus. Clearly he wants a uh, pinta. Pinata. Maybe he wants a pinata. Who knows? If he does want a pinata, then I hope he has a good time. Nina? How about a Nana? Yeah, he wants his Nana. Maybe she wants a pinata. I can't see how this could go wrong. Uh, clearly he wants a tsunami, because that's what he's asking for. But really, honestly, he wants a giant wooden boat. Because he's super boring! There you go. Brave New World, that's exactly what it looked like. What's up with you? Finished my exhibit, Wax Cleopatra. What does she want? She wants a snake because ooh, it's a snake there we go look at all those things that just showed up because we handed her a snake i don't even know what sense that makes what does uh wax benjamin franklin need i don't know he probably wants a kite because that's just boring toy i don't even know what else to give him if not for that yeah great we made the thing okay yeah everybody knows what that is uh wax george washington he wants the delaware no, he wants a delegate. He wants a delegate because he wants to create a more perfect government. No, he wants, uh, the White House. There you go. Have a White House. That's perfect. You want a cherry tree? You're boring. I did not like this place. This place was super cliche. I think we gotta come up with more creative puzzles than this. The White House isn't even sitting on the ground. It's like floating a couple inches off the ground. Whatever. I'm gonna get worked up about the White House or the giant wooden boat. Let's go down. I think we've solved... Oh, we didn't get... Sorry? Did I not just pick it up a second ago? Oh, I guess I have to do this. Right. Uh, let's actually leave Starite Vision, because clearly that's what I need to do. Help my, uh, Maxwell provide art that will be sure to please the patrons of the museum. Finicky Patron Start. That's a good name for a race or something. Uh, it's opening day at the museum. Place something in the frames that will be sure to please the museum's patrons. Alright, well we've got a pretty peaceful looking landscape here. Uh, what goes in a peaceful looking landscape other than... A... Hole to hell. No, that's probably boring. Uh, trying to think of what would actually be a good object to put in there. I can't really think of much. Flowers, because we're just as boring as that painting. Yeah. Why is there a tree in, by the way? What does he have to do with a museum? Here comes somebody else. What is something that makes his patron... Oh, oh, we're supposed to please the patrons, right? I forgot. This guy is linked to that. He's linked to that. Who are you even supposed to be? You're a troglodyte? What are you doing here? Um, let's... I don't know what he wants. I don't even understand exactly what that question is. What is this even a painting of? It's some rocks, like mountains, and a sun. Uh, let's give him a cave. I don't know, I guess that makes sense. Well, whatever. Perfect, that's a great painting you got there. Next patron is arriving. Place something in the frame that will be sure to please. Well, I kind of get how this works by now. 
Uh, clearly that guy likes uh, Windows Vista because that's what that looks like. Uh, vest. How about you have a vest? Windy vest. Does that work? How's the windy vest doing for you, ghost? Oh, he can't get too close to it because he's a ghost. Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, I should probably have read what his deal even was. Where'd you go, ghost? What do you have? What's You're just named ghost. Okay, well, you're really boring. Uh, how about we give you a... A uh, crappy tree to hang out by. Campy tree. There you go. Campy tree. You like... No? You don't like that? I don't know who I'm talking to here. I'm talking to the, the painting, apparently. Tree's too big. How about we give it a dark, gloomy shack? I'm so glad that this... Oh, I can't put the shack in the painting. It's like a shack attack. Alright, I'm glad they have adjectives in this. It really does help. Uh, make the typing a little bit more enjoyable. Um, what else? Do, I don't even know, like, what the ghost and the hillside, what do they want together? They want a mansion? Mini mansion. How's a mini mansion going to suit you there? Perfect! That's exactly what you want, a mansion on the hillside. And lastly, uh, we've got something for a invisible man and a, I don't know what that is, purple rock picture. Place item inside the frame find artistic because he's invisible. I don't know. What do invisible people like? They like uh, being invisible. I don't know. That doesn't tell you anything about his preferences, really. I'd like to read this uh, little summary of the picture here, but it doesn't let me. That was that would be a lot easier. Um, I really don't even know what to give this guy at all. Bandages, because Kevin Bacon did that, and it worked fine for him. Have a bandage. You can wrap yourself in it, you can at least be happy that someone can see you when you want to be seen. No, let's put the bandages in the picture. Oh, perfect! He loves bandages, because I don't know why. That doesn't make any sense. Whatever. Some of these puzzles are just a little ridiculous. You know, there's like infinite things you could do with this kind of a game engine, and yet we're making these very strange, obtuse, abstract puzzles that don't really follow any sort of progression that makes sense to me. I, I mean, some of them made sense, but some more than others. Treant likes flowers, Troglodyte likes a cave, I guess those make sense. The other ones I don't know so much. Check on Lily at the farm to unlock some new levels. Let's go to Lily. Check her out on the farm. Are you still dying? You're probably still dying, aren't you? Well, you better just uh, get comfortable. At least you have a nice beam of sunlight. That's comforting, right? You know, you'll, you'll look into the light. Patches and his kite. What do you want, Patches? Yeah, well, you're dead too. Well, this is a really dark, gloomy story. Everybody's dying. So have we completed the city? I still don't think we have, actually. I think there's still a few more places we have yet to go in it. Uh, capital City, despite... Oh, you know what, though? Uh, we're actually solving these buildings that are not actually in the city. I'm just using that as a link to get to it. So I actually could go to some of these places separately. And that's, I guess, what I'll do. So next time... We will head back in, we'll probably go to the hospital, or maybe we'll go hang out in this pipe, uh, because, you know, why not? Sometimes you find some sweet jeans under a bridge. As long as you boil them, everything's gonna be okay. You know, I'll take milk steak and order your finest jelly beans. Anyway, that's gonna do it for Scribble Knots Unlimited. I hope you guys are enjoying this so far, and I hope you come back for another episode. I know this was a little bit shorter in comparison, uh, but I do want to keep this coming, so I will have a new episode for you, hopefully each day. We'll see how that goes. Depends on my recording schedule if I get behind on indie impressions or something, but hopefully you're enjoying it. Let me know if you do, and I will adjust accordingly. So thanks again, and I will see you next time. Later!